The Inspector General of Police, Mohamed Adamu, has called for improved collaboration and support from civil society groups in the country as the force plans to execute strategies towards the successful conduct of the September 19 and October 10, 2020, Edo and Ogu gubernatorial elections, respectively. Adamu made the call during a one day interactive session with conveners, representatives of the various civil society organizations at the force headquarters, Abuja. The IGP, while observing that civil society organizations play a critical role in the electionary processes and general sustenance of democracy in Nigeria, noted that the meeting became necessary as part of ongoing efforts by the force leadership to galvanize critical stakeholders to share knowledge, compare notes and experience on the conduct of elections in the country. The meeting also availed the force the opportunity to obtain input from the CSOs towards engendering robust strategies to address identified threats and emerging trends as revealed in the election security threat assessment report conducted by the force in Edo and Ungo states. In view of the nature of what we've been hearing already coming out from Edo, where the main political parties, the two political parties are there fighting themselves, violence, movement of arms and combinations here and there. We've changed our development strategy from what we wanted to do. We have now escalated to a level that we believe will help us conduct the election uh, so that a free and fair election can take place and a uh, level plan field is created for everybody to vote whoever they want to vote. Society on their part pledged support for the police and other agencies involved in the election security management in the country, just as they commended the IGP for the existing cordial relationship between the police and the CSOs and also for its quick responses to issues bordering on human rights abuses, sexual and gender-based violence. They also commended the police for the prompt arrest of suspects involved in the gruesome rape and murder of Ms. Vera Waila in Edo State. They however called for transparency and impartiality by security agencies in the elections. You know the politicians who do everything to seize power uh, and completely in uh, sidelining the need for citizens' votes, but we know that a police that is non-partisan, that is involved and is ready to bring everyone to account who violates the law, whatever political party they belong to, would help to uh, entrench respect for the rules of the political system. So we urge the police and we do have confidence that this leadership under, under the IGP, um, Ahmed Adamu, would um, be very, very insistent on uh, ensuring that the rules of uh, elections are respected and obeyed. The women know how to call their sons to order. They know how to call their husbands to order. They know how to call their boyfriends, their sugar daddies, their beneficiaries to order. So I call on Edo women, those strong women in Edo states, call them to order. Do not shed the blood of any Edo child. And nobody should die because of elections. And then, Ajisa, let's see more women from the police side in these elections. Let's see a feminized face of security. So that nobody gets the impression that they're going to shoot guns. It's always easy for women to gather intelligence and maintain security. Meanwhile, the IGP assured the CSOs that the force will be neutral, apolitical, and will provide a level playing ground for all in the elections. He further assured the CSOs of adequate security and enjoined them to assist the police in identifying imposters who may want to hide under the umbrella of accredited CSOs to foment trouble during the elections. Among those in attendance at the meeting were the police management team, Clement Muako Convener, Park, Esther Uzoma Alternate Convener, PGI, Awal Musa Rafsanjani, Sislak, Idiot Asan, Center for Democracy and Development, Cynthia Mabalu Yaga, among others.